Hey guys, Coach Madden, official trainer, YouGoProBaseball.com, and today we're talking about how to have better contact when hitting a baseball. Bat control is so important in a world full of bat speed programs, and everyone's trying to focus on creating more speed and more energy through the swing. Now, don't get me wrong, that is very, very important if you want to be a power hitter, but having good bat control and making contact is most important because if you're swinging very, very fast, but you're not hitting the baseball, you're not gonna get anything done. So bat control is most important. It is the fundamental of hitting. Now, the most important thing when it comes to uh, making better contact when swinging is to have good timing, right? When, you're, when the pitcher is pitching, you kinda wanna be dancing with that pitcher. So as he's starting his windup, you kinda wanna have a little rhythm and move with that pitcher. You don't wanna just be standing still waiting for that guy to throw because then you're gonna be dead in the water and not have any energy to get the swing going, right? So kind of have a rhythm with him, dance with him, see the ball, try to time it up, okay? There's many drills that you can do to, do to practice this. You can work on tracking. When your pitchers on your team are throwing bullpens, you could just hop in there and get in there and just try to time them, try to time them. You're not actually swinging because he's throwing a bullpen, but you're just in here dancing with that pitcher getting that load, stride, and act like you're swinging, but you're not really swinging. Seeing the ball is also very important when it comes to having better contact when hitting. Now, when you're looking at that pitcher, we talked about timing before, when you're focusing out on that pitcher when he's about to pitch, you don't wanna be super zoned in right away, okay? What I tell all my guys is, you wanna have a soft focus, and then bring that soft focus into a harder focus as he starts to deliver the baseball. So when he gets into his windup and he starts to pitch, you're kind of just gazing out there and having a general uh, view and you're watching everything he does and that's when you're getting your timing, your rhythm with him. Now, as he gets to his release point, you wanna sharpen that focus into where he's releasing that ball. Then you have that hard focus. The reason why we don't wanna have a hard focus too early is because if you ever stared at something for a few seconds, you feel your eyes start to strain, they might get watery, they might get itchy. That's why we don't wanna focus in too early. You just wanna have that general soft focus as he gets to release point, then we focus hard for a short amount of time, see that ball and make good contact. Another way to work on your contact when hitting a baseball is to train small. If you use these mini balls to work on your swing and work on your contact, hitting a bigger ball is gonna be a lot easier. You can also get a skinny barrel bat. This is a regular bat here, but they make skinny barrel bats where you can try to hit these mini balls with a skinny barrel bat. And if you can do that, hitting a regular baseball with a regular bat is gonna be a lot easier. Now, what you can do with these mini balls is just get a partner out in front and he, they can flip it to you. You just take, get ready, get your timing down. Take it if, if it's a ball. Another way to have better contact is to train strong, to train a strong contact point and be able to hit that ball and get through it. Because I see a lot of guys, especially younger guys, when they get to contact, they're very weak through the contact point and it kind of just dinks out there. You don't want that, you want to be strong through the contact point too. So here's a great drill to work on, training to be strong through your contact point. You can just put up a basketball or a soccer ball, uh, preferably, preferably slightly deflated um, you're gonna have to find a tee that works for it. Um, also, if you have one of the old rubber tees, you can stick a plunger upside down in there, and that's a good way to hold the, the, uh, the basketball or the soccer ball up. As you can see with a regular tee, it's a little bit hard, and you really gotta focus on getting it balanced at first, but once you find that sweet spot, you should be good. Another way to work on having better contact is to train with a wood bat. You know what they say, aluminum makes good cans, wood makes good hitters. The reason why is because the sweet spot on a wood bat is much smaller, much more condensed. So you have to be a better hitter and hit the ball in a smaller area when swinging with a wood bat. Some players will tape their wood bats on the sweet spot for two reasons. One, it helps keep the bat and make it last longer. Um, also to tell them if they're hitting the ball on that sweet spot. So on your BP wood bat, just put a little tape around that sweet spot and then you can check to see if you're hitting the ball on the sweet spot more often than not. And last but not least, uh, I touched on it before, but tracking drills are huge for when it comes to having better contact because you're gonna be able to see the ball 
even better. So if you have a batting cage by your house that you can get into that's really fast, maybe a little bit faster than the pitching that you see, it's great to get in there and just take that load and that stride and try to time up that pitch without even really swinging at it. Then you can get into a cage where it pitches the same speed as pitchers that you're gonna see and then take actual swings and try to work on your contact that way. Hope you guys liked this video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you did. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell uh, symbol right next to it too so you can be notified when I upload new videos. I got a bunch of great stuff coming and I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2017, so I need your help to do so. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you're gonna do this year to work on having better contact in your swing. Talk to you guys in the next video.